Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida, an expressionist start studio gallery with all kinds of swipe cards I'm thinking about using in a minute. But for right now, I'm going to start with an OXO omelet turning spatula and spread some black paint that I usually make from Artist Loft and some Walmart latex semi-gloss onyx with my regular pouring recipe, which is below the video, underneath Show More. You'll find that. If you guys got questions, please feel free to ask me. My plan was to let this go up as far as it will go and finish off the top with just a little smidgen of it. The blade picks it up quite nicely. So the top is covered. The sides are not covered, but they will be in time. I am doing another swipe. I'm going to use my mead and white across the top and a hefty dose across the bottom too. that right over the edge. And then I'm just going to use my favorite colors in whatever configuration comes to mind. And I haven't used any orange like this ever. I used to have some much brighter orange. That could be a mistake right there. Blue and orange next to each other can be a problem. I want to use an abundance of paint in the spot that I'm going to start my swipe in. I haven't really used much purple today. I think I might want some black, but I might have enough black on the bottom. Okay, so I tried to convince myself to live without the HUD orchid from Color Art that's a prism pour, but I just couldn't do it. And I am going to grab, you know what? I'm just going to do this with a spatula because I haven't done that before. I'm going to knock off my extra paint. And I'm going to put a little more black right across the top. And a little bit more right in here. And then wish us luck. Because that's what I've wanted to do since I found out about this. I'm going to push that back a little bit. Push it back a little bit again. I'm scraping off my residuals. I probably could have left some space in between. I have no idea if this will work or not. I've got something, but what is it? <laughs> I don't know. going to take advantage of my prism pour, some Decor at Americana 24 karat gold. I had a really nice palette knife, but I think at this point I'm just going to use my number five Princeton Artel Catalyst spatula and some more Meaden acrylic. And while we're at it, Let's just go for the black. No idea what's going to happen now. None at all.
Ooh, those were awesome cells. I did not want to get rid of those. I've got plenty of paint in my dish I can put down. Actually, I kind of want to put that right down now. Maybe use my Princeton art tool catalyst spatula. How many swipes can I do? I need an edge catcher and I remove them all. Excuse me. <laughs> well, I've run away for a second. Wow, those cells are really developing way, way more than I was expecting. I should have left it probably. But I'm not minding what I'm getting either. They're staying intact as they as their laciness pulls them through. I'm getting some really neat drips and I really like them. Just going to run the spatula through a few times, leaving a few marks that look a lot like flames. That's pretty cool. That is unexpectedly cool. I don't know why I don't expect it. It's I'm just, just not used to the meat and stuff that much. Wow! <laughs> Holy! Holy cow! Very cool. And I can take all my residuals and put them right over my end, just tapping with my finger and it'll fill right in. My goodness! I'm so amused. I can't even tell you. I probably could have left that black, but I didn't I didn't need to worry about it either way. And I've used up all my residuals, so I basically have nothing extra. I'm going to torch, and we're probably going to see some more cells pop up, which is going to be amazing. I'm going to have to figure out what to do with my edges. But other than that, this is too totally cool. Not sure about this little thing, but maybe if I spiral it. Maybe if I pick it up with my skewer and twist it, I'll like it better. Yeah, I don't mind those. Meaden kicks you know what. <laughs> so there's over 96,000 subs... Excuse me, I keep saying that wrong. There's over 91,600 subscribers. Someday there might be 96,000, but there aren't yet. In any case, I love you guys. I love all you guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you if you're subscribed, and thank you for stopping by if you're not subscribed. And if you're not, please feel free to subscribe and join us. And uh, just know there's a Facebook group called Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group where we answer questions and, and uh, ask questions and share lots of work and have some fun. There are two other Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and More and Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors. Fans and Collectors is for checking out the albums of edited artworks from YouTube. Totes and More has a link to Shop Now, the Teespring clothing. Excuse me. Has a Shop Now button for the, <laughs> for the Fine Art America and Pixels.com clothing. The Teespring clothing is underneath the video. It's Oliver print leggings and Oliver print t-shirts. I am ultimately distracted. You have to, you have to forgive me. I, I think I just had my mind blown again, even more so than I expected. And uh, I'm so glad I'm doing all these experiments with you. And I'm so glad you're here to see them. And I'm having way too much fun. 
And yeah, this is still accidental art, but by the time I fin finish figuring out what I'm supposed to do with this or how it works out, I will, uh, I will help myself by utilizing what I've learned in some other way. Let's see how far I can go. I just figured out if I take the clamp off my camera strap that's holding it in place that I might get a better, give you a better visual. Wow, okay. That wasn't <laughs> anything. So the colors are pretty awesome, but the patterns are stellar. I'm going to have to do some more spirally things with these, obviously. I don't know if I can make my camera go back where it's supposed to go. So check the end screen video. The exhibition video will have the prizes on it for the monthly drawing winner to choose. And the drawing is at the end of the month. And if you're a contributor to help keep the studio rolling, thank you very much. And if you want to be one, then just contribute through PayPal or Patreon. Um, I, I prefer PayPal. And uh, you will be automatically entered in that drawing. My Amazon link is on the link tree. My, my Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links are on the link tree. My website is on the link tree. Um, if you're looking for the community board, because I post tomorrow's video there, I also post tomorrow's video on Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group. All the Facebook groups are on the link tree. I think I have told you about Volume 1 and 2, Because I Can and Unlimited Possibilities, but if I haven't, they're on the Amazon link. Those are my two books. Thank you for your comments that keep my morale boosted. I really appreciate that. And thank you for all the donations that help keep me painting all this time. And I appreciate your thumbs up more than you can imagine. If I could have one, that would make me really happy. Thank you very much for all the thumbs up. Thank you for all thank you all for sharing my videos. It's a really big assistance to me to get the word out and help my channel survive. If you watch the videos longer, it's a big important hoo-ha. <laughs> big deal. So I really appreciate that. And uh, pardon me. <laughs> my playlists have over 1,800 videos going on 1,900 videos. They may not all be available to watch yet, but they're coming. They're scheduled, and um, there's 18 lists of 100 each, and the rest are organized by topic and genre, and you can watch them. And if you need some help, please ask me. Ask me any questions you need. If I have answers, I'll give them to you, and if I don't, I'll let you know somebody who does or tell you I don't. And um, I think that's pretty much everything. What am I forgetting? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm sure there's something. All right. Ask me questions. I'll talk to you. Bye for now. I love you all. See you anon. This is Priscilla Batsell, goofy as heck, in Spring Hill, Florida.